Lost all keys for your Mitsubishi Outlander 2021 to 2025? Here's the life-saving fix with Auto IM608. Hey there, fellow car tech warriors and auto diagnosis enthusiasts. Welcome back to the most dedicated space on the internet for real-world automotive programming and diagnostics. You're watching Babaji Motors, where every video is not just a tutorial, but a step toward mastering your craft. Before we dive deep into today's life-saving guide, let me hit you with a quick but powerful reminder. Don't just watch, become part of this growing family. Smash that subscribe button right now. Tap the bell so you never miss an update. And if you truly appreciate high quality content made for professionals like you, give this video a like before you forget. Let's go all in and aim for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the first 24 hours. Yeah. That's the challenge. And I believe we can crush it, but only with your help. So let's paint a scenario. You walk out to your 2021 or newer Mitsubishi Outlander, ready to hit the road, only to realize all keys are lost. Gone. Vanished. Panic mode, right? But hold on. Before your day spirals into a nightmare, there's good news. You can absolutely program new keys yourself using the Auto IM6082 or even the IM508 and a 40-pin BCM cable. And today, I'm going to walk you through it step-by-step, step, with all the pro tips included. Now, here's the breakdown of what you'll need for this mission. An Auto IM6082 or IM508 key programmer. Make sure it's updated with the latest software. The special 40-pin BCM cable, crucial for making the right connection to the vehicle's body control module. New. Compatible key fobs. Double check, they work specifically for the Mitsubishi Outlander 2021 to 2025 models. Basic tools to open panels, like removing the glove box or reaching under the dash, depending on your vehicle setup. Let's talk location first, because knowing where the BCM is hidden can save you frustration. For those in right hand drive, RHD, countries like Australia, you'll typically find the BCM hidden behind the glove box right beneath the fuse box. So yes, you'll need to remove that glove box first. For left-hand drive, LHD, models, it's usually tucked underneath the steering column. Once you find the BCM, look for a gray connector. That's the one you'll unplug. Next up, connecting the hardware. Plug one end of the 40-pin cable into that gray connector you just pulled, and the other end directly into the BCM. If you're working on an RHD vehicle, Chances are you'll need an OBD extension cable. Why? Because the OBD port and BCM are on opposite ends, and your standard cable just won't reach. Now connect the OBD port to your Auto IM608 scanner. Take a moment to double check every connection. Loose plugs are the silent killers of diagnostics. All right, now the real magic begins key programming. Boot up your Auto IM608 and select. Mitsubishi Outlander greater than 2021 or newer. From here, you'll go into Control Unit Keyless System CAN Key Learning. And hey, if communication fails, don't freak out. Navigate instead to Hot Function Key Learning, Guided, and continue from there. Now here comes the six-step wizard that does all the heavy lifting. 1. Function Initialization, Getting the System Ready. 2. Get Key ID detecting your key details. Three, read pin code, pulls the secure access code from the system. Four, pin verification, ensures the code is correct. Five, key learning, the heart of the operation, adding your new key. Six, read current number of keys, confirm how many are now programmed. Take your time with each step. Don't rush, it's not a race, it's precision work. Once you finish the programming, it's time to test your new keys. Try starting the vehicle. It should fire up instantly if done right. Lock and unlock the doors using the new fob. If anything feels off, like no ignition response or lock slash unlock failure, don't panic. Recheck your wiring, review your key placement during learning, and repeat the steps if needed. A few crucial reminders you need to keep in your toolbox of knowledge. Your Auto IM608 must be connected to the internet it's non-negotiable. Cable extensions may be required on RHD vehicles due to how the BCM and OBD ports are positioned. Always, always verify 
key compatibility before you even start. Getting this wrong can waste hours and lead to serious frustration. Here's my take on it. Auto has truly made life easier for both technicians and enthusiasts by making all keys law situations manageable without towing the car to a dealer. The guided interface, the step-by-step -step logic, and the robust BCM access via the 40-pin cable mean that even the scariest situations become a calm, control process. But hey, I want to hear from you now. What's your experience with key programming? Have you tried this on an Outlander before? Or is this your first time facing a total key loss? Drop your thoughts, your questions, or even your struggles in the comments below. Someone out there might benefit from your story. And please, if you know someone, maybe a friend, a fellow mechanic, or even a client who's dealing with a lost key nightmare, share this video with them right now. It could save them a ton of time and money. So let's wrap it all up. Programming all keys lost on a 2021 to 2025 Mitsubishi Outlander is no longer a dealer-exclusive process. With the right tools like the Auto IM6082, a 40-pin BCM cable, and the right mindset, you can solve what seems like a massive issue in under an hour. This isn't just about tech. It's about taking control, saving money, and becoming more independent in your diagnostic journey. And hey, don't forget, like this video if you found even one tip useful. Subscribe to the channel. Don't just be a visitor, be part of this family. Comment below and share your thoughts, tips, or questions. Challenge yourself to be the most helpful comment today. Let's hit that 1,000 likes and 100 comment goal in 24 hours. I know you can do it because if you've made it this far in the video, you're the kind of person who gets things done. This is Babaji Motors signing off. Stay curious, stay sharp, and keep diagnosing like a pro. See you in the next one.